It's another math day here with teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. And this time, our topic will be solving rational equations. You see single expression on the other side. And so with the other side, you will be doing this method right away. This is, again, might be the easier one. You can go for cross multiplication. You can only do the cross multiplication. Take note of that if there is an equal symbol here. So how to do that one? You just have to form a cross here and you follow your cross or the lines on that cross. So we have here x multiplied to your x minus 1. We just have to follow the line and have those terms multiplied. So we have this equal to, we have x plus 2 times 2x. Then you have here distributing x on x minus 1. This is x times x. That's x squared. x times negative 1, that will be negative x. That will be equal to distributing 2x to x plus 2. We have 2x times x, that will be 2x squared. 2x times 2, that will be plus 4x. And then we go for combining like terms. So we have here x squared. Move 2x squared to the other side. So this is negative or minus 2x squared. We move 4x to the other side. So this is now minus x minus 4x, that will be equal to 0. Combining like terms, we have x squared minus 2x squared. This is negative x squared. Negative x minus 4x, that will be negative 5x. That will be equal to 0. Factor out using GCF, we have negative x out. And we have x here minus 5, and that will be equal to 0. So again, we equate these factors to 0. So we have here, x will be equal to 0 and x will be equal to 5. And again, these are your solutions on that rational equation. So next, and again, we have another example here. We have x plus 2 over x plus 3 equal to 2 third. So we can just go ahead and do the cross multiplication. So we have here um, x plus 2 times 3. That will be equal to x plus 3 times 2. So we are now going to distribute our 3 to your x plus 2. So 3 times x, that will be 3x. 3 times 2, that will be positive 6. That will be equal to 2 times x, that will be 2x. 2 times 3, that will be equal to positive 6. So we move our x on the other side. So we have 3x minus 2x. That will be equal to 6. We move 6 here to the other side. That will be minus 6. And then we have here x will be equal to 0. Now checking up whether you will have a denominator here, which will be 0. So replacing 0 here and adding that to 3, that will not lead to a 0. So that is why this is your solution for that rational equation. So I hope you were able to learn something from me. Once again, this is your teacher Jenny saying good luck to every challenges in your life. And if you like this video, kindly share, like, and subscribe.